Pismo Tender 189. We're going to have to clean it before we can cut steaks out of it. So here's our tender. We're going to remove this fat here. We're going to remove the sinew here. We're going to remove all the sinew here. When you clean in the tender, first thing you want to do is start with your hands. Never start with a knife. It just peels right off. If you start with a knife, you're going to end up wasting product. At $9 a pound, you can't afford to waste anything. You have a natural seam here, and then you're going to have a natural seam here. Okay, now that we've kind of got it opened up, we'll need to separate the chain here. This chain just kind of separates by itself. Take, remove it. So when you hear somebody talking about the chain on the tenderloin, this is what they're talking about. There is some meat in here, but there's also a lot of sinew. So if you cut a cross section of it, then you're going to see all this sinew in here. And anytime you have sinew in beef, it's going to be very tough. So we're going to take this, set it aside. We continue cleaning our tender with our hands. Kind of got it out like we want it. You want to get just under the silver skin and remove it with your knife. Okay, so that's kind of how you have your knife blade pointed upwards. The least amount of meat that you can remove with a silver skin, the better off you're going to be. Okay, you can turn it off, and then I'm going to continue cool. cleaning. Okay, we've got the silver skin removed from the top side of it. Have just a little bit of fat in here, that's fine. Top side looks nice to cut. Now we go to the back side of it. We still have a good bit of fat here, so we want to trim that off. Best way to do it is turn your knife blade upside down and just kind of work the fat off. That way you're not trimming too much and the fat just kind of slides right off of there. That way we waste the least amount of meat possible. Okay? Come in here. Have a little bit in here we want to trim up. So now we've got our tenderloin pretty well trimmed, clean. I see a little bit here we need to remove. Okay, so if you, this is a 189 tender. If you purchase a 190A, a steak ready tender, this is what it's going to look like. There will be a little bit of silver skin right here sometimes that you have to remove on a 190A, but this is basically a 190A. So we're going to cut steaks out of it. We're going to shoot for about an eight ounce center cut fillet. We have our tail here. We're going to take, remove that portion. But we want nice eight ounce center cut fillets that look like soldiers. So we're going to go about right here. And that's right at eight ounces. Don't want them too tall. Want them all about the same thickness so that our cook times won't vary that much. Continuing on. So far we're on eight. Now as we get to what's called the butt tender, some people call it the head of the tender. We kind of have three pieces here. So we need to make sure that we don't get a C cut. So I'm going to go ahead and take this side off here. I'm going to start from the front here, squared up. Now we can get maybe one or two more. That's a nice one right there. And let's get one more. Uh, this last one will be acceptable to some customers. This is also what's called a C-cut. Some people call it a Pac-Man cut, but that's a pretty nice fillet there also. So we've ended up with two, four, six, eight ounce fillets, and we have our trimming here. We'll do our calculations and figure out exactly what these cost us. Okay, we started off the weight of our tenderloin with 6.17 pounds. At 7.49 a pound, that gives us a total cost of 46.21 for the tenderloin. 
We have 2.21 pounds of trim. We had 1.36 pounds of tenderloin tails and tenderloin trimmings. And we actually ended up with 2.61 pounds of steaks. We ended up with six steaks. So if we take from our initial cost of $46.21, if we add a value of 99 cents a pound to this, add a value of $4.95 a pound for this, sell it back to ourselves. Now we have a cost of our steaks of $37.29. Divide that by six. That means each steak cost us six dollars and twenty two cents to cut. Cost per pound is fourteen twenty nine. The yield that we've got on this tenderloin was about a forty two percent yield. Any questions you can ask me and I can send you this spreadsheet out. It shows kind of how we broke it down. Beef tenderloins cut into eight ounce center cut steaks. Thank you.